What's up, my V Love You guys, today I'm eating rotisserie chicken with some macaroni and cheese and some roasted potatoes, string beans, and some ratatouille. So, is it ratatouille? Yeah, ratatouille. So we're gonna say Grace is gonna get it in. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. My husband just left the room. He's just left the building. So I'm going to say, I'm going to do a, uh, uh, what you call it, thumbnail. It's going to be quick. It's going to be easy, y'all. I've been asleep. Yes, y'all, again, I've been asleep all day. This is a whole chicken. I guess so. So this is a whole rotisserie. Y'all, I'm going to be, uh, tomorrow I'm going to go, well, yeah, tomorrow, well, which is today. I'm going to try to get me some, um, what you call that? Some, um, some, um, Jolly Bees. Because I saw a nigga called an avocado eating some. And I wanted me some. I said, I want me some Jolly Bees. And they said it got one um, 0 0.9 miles from here. I so, said, yeah, that's it. I wouldn't be able to show y'all my chick on. Chicken walk on. That chicken. Y'all see that? That's good. That's too long, huh? Mmm. Mm-mm. Mmm. 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 That is good. You know what? Let me tell y'all something. When y'all in different cities and stuff, <coughs> all got the coldest water bottle in the building. I don't know why I ain't sure that. Coldest water bottle in the building, y'all. If you want a free shipping, all you gotta do is say water break. The link is down in the description box below. So you wanna check them out. Anyway. What I'm saying is, when you are in each hotel, and when you're traveling on the road, and you a mukbanger, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Straight up in these YouTube streets. You gotta do what you gotta do to get that video in. Look at that, y'all. Whoo. That's a lot. La, 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 That's good. Mmm. 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 That's good. Mmm. Ginger oil. Mmm. More ginger and garlic. Mmm. Mm. Sorry. I gotta suck the bones, y'all. Whoa, that's good. Whoa, that's good, eh? Whoa, Nelly. I have you suck a bone. You see that bone? Ain't nothing left. See that? How to eat chicken one on one. You better ask somebody. You better ask somebody. Anyways, y'all, yeah. So when y'all going to shopping, I mean not shopping, 
But traveling, and you a mukbanger, y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do. Y'all carry y'all. Oh, sorry, something fell out my mouth. Whatever. Carry y'all lights with y'all. That's another thing. All your equipment, you know, and your equipment should not be your equipment you take from home. Mmm. 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 Well, this is what I do. It's about clean. Your equipment should be separate from your home equipment because you don't want to keep on moving your equipment every time because you want to have a stationary place to go to, you know, when you get home. And when you get home, you may have to do a video. And you don't want to have to unpack and be able to do set up all that stuff again, make sure the angles are right and all that stuff. So you need a traveling camera kit. A traveling kit, y'all, to go. When you go out of town. And when you go out of town, sometimes you don't know what you're going to eat. Sometimes, and I'm going to tell y'all, when y'all go out of town, those videos are not going to get the views like your videos do at home. I don't know what it is. It just don't. Unless, you, unless you're going to be doing it with a celebrity or something. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Mmm, it's all coming out of my mouth. Woo! All right, right there. Spicy. Mm. Woo! Damn, spice is going on my nose. Anyway, uh, I want to sneeze. I want to sneeze, y'all. I mean, it went to my ear. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Yeah, y'all, so, uh, Mm. 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 Wow, it's good. Y'all, I want to talk, but I know if I start talking, I ain't going to finish like I want to finish. I want to finish. Oh, this is that back meat. Try to eat some of that. Mm. It wasn't supposed to cut this out, but... I guess they wanted to cut it up. It's the best heart. What's that tailbone? The back of the tailbone of the chicken. And we have so much flavor. Don't be sleep on that part, y'all. They got a lot of herbs and thyme on this. Thyme. Yeah. Ooh, Charlie. Is that my? Th oh, I had to do the thumbnail. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, a lot. Mmm. I like a lot of skin. Unless it's kind of crunchy. 
that part was soft but this part is kind of I try to take the fat part off but when the skin is kind of crunchy and solid to me I eat it but if it's slimy I don't need that joker and no sir no ham no ma'am no sir no ham no ma'am I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't need it. Mm, what am I eating? Oh, that's an empty. Don't be sleep on that wing part. That wing attached to the wing. That'd be some good flavors. And that's what I'm eating right now. I don't want the fat part though. Anyways. Now I got left is, ooh, this looks like, like a good piece. This kind of crunchy. Mm. Woo. So I got two chicken breasts here. Oh y'all, that's what I what I got left. I'm gonna take a piece of that. Mm. That's up. Now I would not have been able to eat this without some salt. Woo! To be told. <clears throat> Wouldn't have been able to eat the some salt. I got some ratatouille. Ratatouille. Remember that movie Ratatouille? That is a French dish. That's what my husband told me. I don't remember. I think that's the only movie I could have watched that was led by a mouse. Because it was, it was a chef. And I don't know. It didn't bother me as much. Because y'all know my um, I, I don't like uh, mice at all. At all. I can't. Even, not even a little bit. What y'all call that's a, a phobia or something that you afraid of? Mm -mm, I don't like them thing. Call it what you will. Will it what you call? Just don't like them things. And so this is supposed to be zucchini, mushrooms, bell peppers, squash, or some all this and some red tomato paste sauce together Ooh. Woo! that water good mm. anyways so yeah what I was talking now I'm ready to talk now cuz I'm getting full kind of getting full kind of getting full um um so I was saying when you traveling, um, you gotta get these mukbangs out. 
And you can't travel with equipment that you got at home because that's the equipment that needs to be stayed stationary in your studio. So, and then also, you want that separate from your vlog camera. But when you out here, some, some reason, when you are out and about on these, uh, like if you're touring or, or if you're working or different things like that, you have to still get videos out if you haven't got enough videos, if you know you're going to be on a roll for a long time. Because there's no way that sometimes you're not going to be able to catch up on videos when you're gone for like two weeks, three weeks at a time. Seriously, you, you, you're you not going to be able to do all those videos plus do your regular videos every day. So what you got to do is, you got to take your equipment with you, carry it with you, and that was, that's going to make you have even more suitcases or whatever, traveling items with you. And you have to go and eat at wherever you can get a meal. You hear, you hear what I'm saying? Wherever you can get a meal, get a meal. And that's, I mean, that's whatever. When you around places, because I'm, I'm in Manhattan now, and it's not a lot of stuff. Let me wipe my mouth. There's not too much stuff you can do in Manhattan. Well, it is stuff, but it's like, they got all these uh, shops with steaks and seafood and um we had one place that we saw that soul food with the buffet um they did have this rotisserie place right around up uh, four minutes up the road four minutes walking but they delivered they have pizza and stuff like that uh but they do have a jolly bees that's like uh i think it's 16 minutes from here yeah, I think it's 16 minutes from here. But see, with stuff like that, I hate doing stuff like that because when you're traveling and you go get that stuff, I don't like my food cold. I'm sorry. I'm that monk bonger that does not like cold food. And if I have to eat cold food, I'm I'm not. Mm -mm, I'm not going to enjoy my food. You're not going to hear no mmms and ahs and good and no. That's why at home I have my, um, my studio right off my kitchen part, my kitchen. Because... That works better for me because I don't like cold food. My food has to be hot. And then with my seafood normally, I don't care about it being kind of cool because I know my sauce is going to be piping hot. And that's good enough for me. It's going to make my seafood taste like it's hot and warm. But, as like I said, so when you're doing these videos at in these rooms and stuff like that you do not get the same views you get when you at home you know that's that's how that work so you'll get sometimes most likely you will get better views if you were at home i don't know what it is if it's that because you're comfortable people are comfortable seeing you in your own home or what but when you out and about it just don't it's, it's just not the same it's not not the same feeling so when you get home you be like oh my goodness i love it i'm back at home i'm back in my in my space you know what I'm saying? Because I just be like, danger. And then trying to come up with stuff. Anyways, at home I eat mostly the same things anyway. But, like tomorrow I want, literally I want me some Jolly Bees. And what else I want? I think we're all getting it. Oh, shout out to Abby. She gave me some places to go to, too. Um, Although I have tasted all you could, a uh, buffet, Amy. Was this Amy's? Mmm, it's a soul food restaurant, y'all. And, and cause I'm, cause right here I'm, I'll be leaving Manhattan and I'll be going to Harlem. Bomb! That place is bomb. That food is so good, so so good. I'm talking about good, good. And I went there before, but I never did do a video on it. So I said I'm gonna do a video on that. And also, she gave, she gave me some other places to go to. But I know I'm not going to be able to hit all the places up. But I'm going to try to go back uh, when I come back here. I'll be back here in March. Um, and so, when I come back here in March, I'm going to um, do it then. I'm gonna do it then, y'all. But the other place where I was standing before. I'm going to be at the same place I was standing before. And then I'm out here to do, I got two more uh, collabs and I'm heading home. And then I have an interview with Fox, Fox 5 News? Yes, Fox 5 News. That's Cincinnati News. They're supposed to be at my house. 
and I don't know if I have to record. So that's going to be a long day, y'all. A long, long day with these new people. I guess they're going to follow me around with my life and stuff. And then I'll be on Cincinnati News. And then I'll be heading to Columbus, Ohio. And then I'm off to Playlist. So if y'all at Playlist Live, y'all will see me there. I'll be on some panels and different things like that, mingling, mingling and jingling, jingling and mingling with all y'all. I don't know who be going to play the playlist live, but um, I know it's big and huge. It's like VidCon, um, but um, it's in Orlando, Florida. I don't know. This, is it warm out there? What's the temperature out in Orlando? Y'all, it ain't snowing out there, is it? I know Orlando just got some snow. And then I'm going to leave uh, the VidCon and go straight to Atlanta. Then I'm going from Atlanta to Las Vegas. Here I come. Now, that's my vacation. Now, that, that week, I am not. That's the eight days that I ain't doing no work, y'all. I'm going to be putting these videos out, doing some videos at home, trying to catch up. And I'm not going to touch those eight videos because I cannot and will not do anything on my vacation. I want to enjoy my family to the fullest. We want to enjoy each other all of each other you know and and you know just gather up with laughs and fun Darius to be with us dalvin and nicole and nate we all gonna just have fun and we're you guys i'm gonna probably announce um we're probably gonna have the fashion be at the fashion show mall i think it's called fashion show mall shout out to um sent mo i think they gave me the uh i did oh actually they were saying get a venue but I don't want to do all that, y'all. Just straight up, mm-mm. I ain't trying to do all that. Venues and trying to, uh, then I'll have to book security, find the venue, go shopping with a big... I ain't doing all that. I just can't, y'all. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot to try to find um, the venues and book out the venue, how long it's going to be. You got to look at the room, the square footage, and all that. Because when we did it with, um, when I was with Prissy P, it took a while to be able to book that. We booked, like... We had to go through a few different venues because one of them be booked up and then this room was getting work done on it and then they had noise and you know when you're doing stuff like that you don't want to have a lot of noise and all that stuff so it was a lot going on but um i don't have really have time to be looking for a venue so i just said we'll do it at the fashion mall if it gets hopefully it won't get out of hand i you know what y'all i'm gonna tell you the truth i've done it in the mall before meet and greet but it was it was, I was a little bit smaller. I think I probably had 300,000 subscribers then. 300,000, subscribers then. So now, I don't know. And it may not be that bad because it's only Las Vegas. It ain't like it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a lot of people coming from everywhere. So we'll see. And then, like I said, it probably won't be that bad because a lot of us in there, everybody want to see everybody. It's not only me. They'll probably want to they want to visit Dalvin, then they want to visit Nicole and talk to Nicole, talk to Darius and Nate. So we'll just be taking turns or whatever. But it should be fun. And I said that if they kick us out, they just kick us out. That's all I can say. But I just wanted to be um be like that. We're only gonna be up there for about a couple of hours and just be able to uh be there for like a one to three on a Sunday. I think it's on a Sunday. We're thinking about doing it. I think it's we get in town March sixth. Or March 7th, and I think that we're going to do it March 8th on a Sunday, I think, y'all, from 1 to 3 at that mall. But we will finalize it probably next week when I get home because I'll be able to discuss it with the family to make sure. And, yeah, y'all, we just going to be kicking it. So if y'all see us in Vegas, come up to us, y'all. Come up to us. We're going to be staying on the strip, on the strip. Well, actually, no, we're not going to be staying on the strip. We're going to be staying, like, literally like two minutes off the strip because we have a timeshare so we literally be two minutes off the strip because we have like i said timeshare and we just uh we're not are we gonna rent a car actually we did we do rent a car every time we go there because we like to go off the strip sometimes and do things and they have other things you can do with the mall i think we're gonna rent a car especially when it's all of us because we be ready to go we be ready to do other things. And I know Vegas got a lot to offer. And um, I know we're going to be doing a lot of shows and different things like that. So y'all can tell us what shows y'all think that we can sh we should um, hit up. I know I like the... Uh, there's one show. La Viva. 
I don't know. It's one of these the show like an acrobat show. It's so so nice, y'all. That show is so so nice. It's so nice and um I don't know. I just love it. And then I like the uh absentee absentee or whatever. That show is for adults only. I don't know if we're gonna go there or not because Darius can't get in because Darius is only 19, y'all. I said I can't wait till he turned 21. So there's a lot of things that he can't do that we can do. And a lot of things that he gonna be probably feeling at, um, left out with. And he like to hang with Nicole and Dalvin. So we'll see. They like to do things together. And we don't want to exclude him. Because he, when you exclude him from something, Darius, he feel like he, would, he didn't. The world has ended. The world has ended. Because he can't participate. Uh, but anyways, y'all. But I can't wait for that time. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, because I need it right now. I need it. So, yeah. So, today is, um, you'll see this on, you'll see this video on Tuesday. And, y'all, today I'm, I'm working. Like, I can't wait to get home to get my hair done, to get my face done again. You know, I need to get my nails done. I really don't, I mean, I want to get my nails done, but then I don't want to get my nails done. But then I do want to get my nails done. Y'all know I'm iffy about it because it feels so free. I feel so free having my nails like this. It's like I can do everything with these nails. Like everything, y'all. And I'm trying to get this part. I'm going to get this part out before I go, though. Because I hate soaking. That just takes up more time in my life. And I don't like it. So I got four more nails to get off. I got to soak these bad boys off. Not soak them off, but try to tear them, tear them off. And I'm going to do it too. Anyways, y'all. Yep. This one's coming up too. That's what I need. That's what I need. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go. Because I ain't got nothing to say. But like I said, all I was talking about is when you travel, traveling with your own equipment. And just knowing what you're going to do for a mukbang. Because you're not going to get the same views, like I said. But, <clears throat> all in all, you're still going to make money off the video. Because people, somebody's going to watch it. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to be as, as much as it, it would if you were at home. So, my suggestion to you, if you know you're going to be gone out of town, it's better for you to do your videos when you're at home. Pre-record. If you know you're not going to be on the road that long. But if you're going to be on the road really, really long time, you can't help but do videos um, on the road, in your car, car views. Car uh, mukbangs don't get that good, as good views as the home mukbangs or mukbangs, you know what I'm saying, at a hotel or whatever. So, you have to weigh your options. That's what it is, y'all. That's what it is. You got to weigh it. You got to weigh it, y'all. But, um, all in all, it's a good thing, um... It's a good thing that you can reach somebody. You know what I'm saying? With the video, somebody gonna watch. Somebody. Anyways, on that note, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all go. I had, yeah, I had the sides, but I couldn't really eat the sides. So I just ate what I could eat. I know I didn't eat that much, but y'all, I ate as much as I could go. I'm really much thirsty. That's what I really am. Because I've been depriving myself. You see this little bottle? I'm telling y'all, it makes a difference. The bigger your bottle, the more water you can get in. When you have these small bottles, you cannot get that much water in. Because, first of all, if it's by your bed, you get lazy and you don't feel like refilling it. I'm going to tell the truth. I don't feel like getting up like, oh, hey, give me some more water. But when you have it in a 64-ounce cup, it's like, danger. I'm going to get, it's the water, it's, it's always, you know, always there. It's like, it's so much of it that it takes a while to go through. So you can just go through, I can go through, through two of these, two of the big ones in one day. Literally two of them. From the whole day, you know, from the start of me getting up to the time me going to bed. I can go through two big things. So that's what, 128 ounces of water. I think it's a 64 ounce. I think it is. But this one, hey, this one is like, I don't even know what this is. 16 ounce? 32 ounce? No, this ain't no 32 ounce. This is 16 ounce. Something like that. But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Anyone, everyone, let me know what your girl is doing this channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Peace out. Peace, love, and happy. Mm -hmm.
a bougie chick I hold my bang Gotta have that lemon rain And I do everything It's smack delicious mm. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times Make sure you like, share, and subscribe Beat love, beat love, beat love three times Make sure you like, share, and subscribe